Welcome to Chandwell. My name's Michael and I'm about to start the next building on the commercial street behind my station. In this video I'll show you how I went about choosing what to make and how I started to design it to fit it into its scene. So let's dive into Chandwell episode 99, Designing a Building. It was Easter last weekend and my very kind sister-in-law and brother-in-law gave me a year's supply of glazing for Chandwell. I'm not sure what to do with all of this chocolate though. But back to the building. My original plan was for two ornate buildings at the bottom of the Market Street Hill. In real life, these are the back of the City Vaults pub in Bradford and the old Nat West Bank just along Hustler Gate. Both are beautiful buildings, but I began to think that maybe they were not representative of the dingy back street that I was modelling. I needed something else. I went into Bradford and took a walk around the city centre. I saw ornate buildings. Tall buildings. Imposing buildings. Extended buildings. Dingy buildings. Monstrous buildings. Graffitied buildings. Lonely buildings. Grand buildings. Beautiful buildings. But in the end, this particular building stopped me in my tracks. This is the side of the old poor law offices, built in 1877. This building has it all. It has a dressed stone front and dirtier old stone towards the rear. It's covered in pipes but has this stunning stained glass stairwell. It has arched windows and massive chimneys, a board window, a fire escape, various styles of roof, and a glazed lantern roof just up here. This is number one Market Street in Chandwell. I took some photos and using a measurement taken from Google Earth, I scaled it in Inkscape to N-Scale. I printed this onto cheap copier paper and stood it in place on Market Street. It looked ridiculous. Behind the viaduct, it looks like a sunken dwarf house of some type. This would not do. There are three challenges here. Number one, this end of Market Street is quite steep, so this building will be a lot lower than the others. Number two, it's only a three-storey building compared to the four storeys further up the hill. And number three, since the photo was taken from ground level, it's missing the full height of the roof, so therefore looks a bit smaller. I sorted that out by adding simple roof shapes in Inkscape. I then used simple rectangles to clip parts of the photo into separate pieces. These were then arranged up the slope of the hill. I was left with a four section building that ascends the hill. I stuck this one to some cereal packet. It was looking better, but it still looks daft when you see it compared with the Hockings building just further up. I went back to Inkscape and again used clipping on rectangles. I cloned the top floor. I squashed it a bit to make the floor height less and then dropped it on top. This made a new fictional fourth story. Placed beside the Hockings building, it is exactly the right height. And in position down the hill, it's looking a lot more promising. I used Inkscape to trace the essential parts of the building using simple rectangles and shapes. I took care to keep everything aligned and consistently spaced. I was left with a line design that I printed onto a label, stuck to cereal packet, and dropped it into place. I think that this fits perfectly. I think that this building will look magnificent here. It will be a challenging build. There's lots of detail, lots of interest. There's going to be many layers of relief and many windows to cut. The bottom of Market Street down by the lifted bridge abutment will look especially brilliant once High Street is in place. So from here, lots of printing, sticking and cutting. I've already made my first few mistakes, but they're for a future video. As an aside, I dropped the test prints behind the existing buildings up the hill. I think that once I choose the right pictures and the right size, the other side of Market Street is really going to enhance the 1960s hall filled by Pockets and Riding's house. But we're a few months off that project starting yet. So this short update was my 99th Chandwell video. Watch out next week for my 100th video special. We will be seeing the return of Chandwell's most loved celebrity, Brittany Scroggins. Here's a look back at her channel debut. Watch this and just look at how much the layout has changed in those 13 months. So until the 100th episode, 
Thank you for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.